Sir, these men are fully trained for battle. No more training is necessary. They have orders from the War Department to report directly to General Grant's army, now engaging the enemy in Virginia. They are fully trained and ready to go, sir. Would you like to have a general? Would you like to have a moment with the men, sir? I would, please. Three cheers for President Lincoln, boys. Energy men, thank you. I know some of you could be mustered out, but you have chosen to return to the field of battle to restore peace and bring us victory. I know that General Grant appreciates it, and I appreciate it. He is going to lead you through Virginia and lead you to victory, a victory that we surely need. So that you do men, listen to the veterans, learn from them, and I know that you will all come home gallantly and with victory on your sleeve. Three chairs for the union. Well, and may God keep you all safe. Once more, three more cheers. Rousing cheers for President Lincoln. Hip hip! I'm going to have a few farewell words with my men before they board the train from Virginia, sir. No, sir. We have another group we have to train. Send another group of fine recruits are going to join them. Thank you very much, sir, for your kind Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your kind comments. In place, rest. The general's time with you. I won't keep you long because they train engineer is waiting. You're on your way to Virginia. I just want to say that it's been an honor for me to be your commandant and your general here at Camp Calvin. I am very proud of each and every one of you. In my opinion, you're the finest soldiers in the Army. What else can I say? You're going and you're going to become part of General Grant's Army. We're going to refer to you as General Grant's boys. Remember, first and foremost, your general hates boys. I want you to remember that. Your general loves you. And I will keep you in my heart every single day. And I will pray for your safe return. I know you will do your duty to the best of your ability. You're all veterans now. I'm very proud of you because you wear the mantle now. Our veterans and volunteers. These men, although they did their three years of fighting, have signed up to go back. They're doing that for you. How about a round of applause for my boys? All right. Our veterans of battle, many of them have been wounded, doing the sacrifice for their country. Gentlemen, God go with you. Let us pray every day, gentlemen, that this war is ended quickly and that you, all the others down there, wear the blue uniform like you. We'll go home. To their families, to be reunited in their families as quickly as possible. Let's just say that God keep you, may God bless you. I will think of you and keep you in my prayers every single day. Very hard. Sit. Very hard, madam. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Oh, one more thing. Give them hell, boys! Give them hell! Three cheers for the Union, boys! Hip, hip. Hurrah! 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 Three more cheers for President Lincoln! Hip, hip. Hurrah! 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 Hurr
shoulder, pump. Danger, you need the men to avoid the train. Officers, officers, to my left, please. 